He wouldn't be afraid to show his feminine side, if he had one. His mother has a tattoo that reads, Son. At museums, he's allowed to touch the art. In a past life, he was himself. If opportunity knocks and he's not home, opportunity waits. He gave his father the talk. He imagines himself in his own shoes. You can smooth talk in sign language, man. Incredible. Locals, ask him for directions. He is the life of parties he has never attended. If he were to punch you in the face, you would have to fight off the strong urge to thank him. Sharks have a week dedicated to him. If he were to mispronounce your name, you'd feel compelled to change it. Therapists open up to him. He skips the first date. His small talk has altered foreign policy. He once ran a marathon because it was on his way. Sasquatch has taken a photograph of him. He once gave a pep talk so compelling, both teams won. Your guess is as good as his. On second thought, no it's not. When he whispers to a horse, it whispers back. He's been known to cure narcolepsy just by walking into a room. His organ donation card also lists his beard. He's a lover, not a fighter. But he's also a fighter, so don't get any ideas. He wants parallel park to train. His two cents is worth $37 and change. It has never been his bad. His reputation is expanding faster than the universe. He once had an awkward moment just to see how it feels. He lives vicariously through himself. If he were to pat you on the back, you would list it on your resume. Both sides of his pillow are cool. When in Rome, they do as he does. He has inside jokes with complete strangers. Cuba imports cigars from him. Mosquitoes refuse to bite him, purely out of respect. The last time he flirted with danger, danger got clingy. He once received a standing ovation from a juror's box. His thank you cards have prompted your welcome cards. His fortune cookies simply read, congratulations. Skinny dipping was his idea. He can slam a revolving door. His only regret is not knowing what regret feels like. He is the most interesting man in the world. <laughs>